So hi, in one of the previous videos I had shown how to actually put up an automatic solar panel cleaning system using a regular 1 HP pump and a controller. So over the time we were asked like is there a simpler way to actually clean the solar panels. So of course one way is to manually clean, the other way is to actually use a pressurized pump. In actually most houses we have what is called as a booster pump or a pressure pump. This pump is generally used to actually boost the pressure in the bathrooms so that one can take a comfortable shower. So this pump actually can be used to integrate into the solar panel cleaning system. So like the previous video, the piping all remains the same, but to the solar panel cleaning system, now we have also connected this booster pump. So now this is just a 0.75 HP or a 0.56 kilowatt uh, booster pump. This is connected to the uh, solar panel cleaning system. So you can see the same kind of butterfly clamp and the half inch pipe is used where the small perforations are made. Now I will switch on the pump, okay, then you can see now how the water actually jets out from the uh, piping system. So now I am going to switch on the pump, now switching on is pretty simple, they just a valve. So since it is a pressurized system, the water is already in pressure in the, in the pipes. So all I need to do is just to turn on the valve which I am going to do now, okay. So this is the valve, I will now turn on this valve and you can see the water coming out from the pipes there, 3, 2, 1. So this is a kind of much simpler system, it does not require any controller or any timer or anything like that. It is simple manual on and off operation using a valve. So once you open the valve, the water keeps coming out of the pipes, you can keep it on as long as you want it to be cleaned. You can also use a manual uh, wiper to actually clean this uh, water or to wipe out the water or you can just leave it like this for about 4 to 5 minutes, that should be uh, sufficient provided you do it quite regularly. And when you want to turn it off, you just have to turn off, turn off the valve, that is it. So now if I want to stop this water, I will just turn off the valve and the water gets uh, stopped there. So this is the valve, so now I stop it. So that is about it. Suppose if I want to clean again, it is as simple as just switching it on. So I put on the valve again, so and the water starts coming back. So, as I explained, you know, if, if you actually want to manually also wipe it as the water is flowing down, one can do it. I will show that to you. So, this is a, you have to be careful to use a microfiber cloth and if you are actually putting water, it should be after uh, like, you know, 5 p.m. or before 8 a.m. in the morning. So you must never put water on the solar panels during hot sunshine, that is between say 9 o'clock and 4.35 p.m. So this is a slightly more simpler system, does not involve any controller or any timer or anything. But however, this is manual, so one has to switch on the, switch on the pump. So this is about cleaning the solar panels using uh, the booster pumps or the pressure pumps. This can be quite easily done because in most houses these days, they do have pressure pumps and booster pumps to increase the pressure in the pipelines. So like you connect any other equipment or any other uh, plumbing item like the taps and the geysers and the showers and jacuzzi, you can also connect the solar panel system to the same uh, booster pump. So, th this is about it. See, this is why I say cleaning is important. So, it is important not to waste this water. So, there is a gutter here which collects the water and this goes into our rainwater harvesting unit. So the water is not wasted as well because water is as precious as the 
Energy. So since you can see this is a two bay system, that is there are two rows of panels. So the pipe is uh, made parallel between uh, these two. So there is a small valve given here. So you can see this is at 45 degree uh, uh, tilt. This is to adjust the pressure equally between both the base. If I actually want, I can fiddle around with this. So if I open this completely, this row will get more water. And if I close it completely, this will, the water here will get stopped and there the pressure is going to get increased. This is just a small amount of detail one can work with. So I will put back to normal position. Now I will go back and switch off the booster pump. So this is the valve. See now you can see the booster pump is, is, is working. So there is water going inside there. So I will just switch it off. That's about it. Thank you.